This is a very difficult and painful decision. The bishop of the local Catholic Church announces a controversial move after a flood of legal claims from sex abuse victims the Diocese of Rochester files for bankruptcy. Good evening, everyone. Some attorneys for victims are blasting a decision by the Diocese of Rochester to file for bankruptcy, but the head of the local church says it's the best way forward. Tonight, Christian Garzon explains why with reaction from parishioners and victims of abuse. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I begin this letter by renewing my sincere apology to all those who have suffered sexual abuse. An unprecedented moment today as the Rochester Diocese became the first in the state to file Chapter 11. The bishop says they are committed to the victims and to healing. I am so very sorry for the suffering you have endured. Chapter 11 does not mean the Rochester Catholic Diocese will close churches or that it has no money, but it says it needs to reorganize financially in order to protect its assets and compensate victims. Since the opening of the State Child Victims Act window last month, 61 plaintiffs have filed 46 lawsuits against the diocese and 12 more have announced intentions to sue. The bishop says the payouts will exceed their resources. We believe this is the only way we can provide just compensation. I definitely don't want the diocese to think that this is just the solve all to their problem. Brian Delfrenier was abused when he was an altar boy. He says this chapter 11 decision will leave a quote trail of destruction. It's not over for us. We still have to continue. We still have to go on with our lives. Worshippers this morning were not so much worried about the impact all of this might have on the church. Their first thoughts were on those abused. Most important are those that suffered and to now for their healing. The victims receive um, the care and the needs and have their needs met. Back at the diocese, the bishop asked for prayers, both for the victims and for the church. Jesus is our strength, our hope, and our life. Now, parishes are not filing for bankruptcy, just the diocese. So this does not mean churches themselves will close or go broke. Also, charities will still function as normal. Further, the bishop says donations should not be used for any kind of payout to victims. Adam Marine, right back to you. Christian, thank you. Several attorneys who represent local victims of abuse tell News 8 tonight they think this decision is a stall tactic. Under bankruptcy protection, they say the diocese may never have to reveal the facts about the abuse and the cover-up to the public. Now, to recap tonight's big story, the Rochester Catholic Diocese became the first in the state to file for bankruptcy. Filing Chapter 11 gives the church the ability to, to continue to operate while working to pay its debts. Bishop Matano called it the best and fairest course of action for the victims of sexual abuse.